Do you remember when we learned about forgiveness? Oh my goodness, how could I forget? Well, do you think the kids at home would like to hear about it? Oh, most definitely. You would, wouldn't you? What'd they say? Um, I don't know. I think they said yeah. Okay, great. Well, should I tell them or, or should you? Oh, go ahead. All right. Well, it all happened one summer while Larry and I were running a tour boat service. Yeah, you see, we had this boat, and we take some people, and we put them on the boat, and then we give them rides way out on the ocean. You see? <clears throat> Sorry. Go ahead. Thank you. As Larry said, we had a boat, and we would give people rides on the ocean. But I remember that day, that fateful trip. Why, yes, it started from that tropic port aboard our tiny ship. Now, Larry, he was a mighty sailor man. And Bob, he was brave and sure. And, uh, weren't there five passengers who'd booked that day on our three-hour tour? Ah, uh, yes, our three-hour tour. Okay, let's see. There was the professor. And we were there. Well, yeah. And, uh, the millionaire. Um, and his wife. Mm-hmm. And wasn't there a movie star and, um, that other girl? Yeah, but they canceled. Oh. Oh, yeah. Well, anyway, there we were on our three-hour tour, doing our best to entertain the passengers. Some veggies went to see, 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 to see what they could see, see, see. But all that they could see, 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 was the bottom of the deep blue sea, see, see. See? Yes, well, that was just dandy. But isn't it time we left the dock? <laughs> okay, well, fire up the engine first, mate Larry. Aye, aye, Skipper. Lovely day, isn't it? Oh, yes. Why, just smell that salt air. Uh, mighty nice. I think I'll go back and see how our passengers are doing. Can you take over here? No problem, Skipper. It's a big responsibility. You won't daydream, will ya? Don't worry about a thing. I got you covered. Okay. Thanks, Larry. Oh boy, this is a life. There's nothing I'd rather be than first mate Larry. Well, nothing that is. Except... Captain Larry Romanov, the famous Russian icebreaker pilot. Today, Captain Larry must free whales. Two great whales trapped in ice. But there is a problem. A large iceberg stands between Captain Larry and Wales. There may not be enough time to go around it, but surely even Captain Larry is not brave enough to smash through the iceberg. No one has ever done such a thing! Yes, this is no time for cowards. Captain Larry will smash the iceberg and free the whale. Ah! Commander Pablo has come to congratulate Captain Larry for his bravery. Hey, Larry, we're making snow cones back there. Do you want peach or strawberry? Um, not now, Bob. First, I have to smash through this iceberg and free some whales. There are no icebergs around here. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you call that? Ah! <laughs> Oof! Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Uh, the brochure didn't say anything about layovers. Well, you see, lovey, I, I believe we have had some sort of an accident. Uh, Skipper? Yes, we most certainly had an accident, and I think someone has some explaining to do. Well, um, you see, there were these whales, and they were stuck in the ice. And, well, the only way to get them out was this mess right through that iceberg over there. Except it turned out to be a rock. And rocks are a lot harder than icebergs. It just so happens that the nearest iceberg is 2,640 miles away. What were you thinking? You smashed our boat. Now what are we gonna do? You have ruined our vacation. What do you have to say for yourself? Um, I'm sorry? At least the boat is still floating. Oh. Uh, 
time. You need to call my broker. I'm going to look for a phone. I'm That evening, we all worked together to build some huts to sleep in. But we were still pretty mad at Larry. Gee, it's kinda nice out here. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. Huh, Bob? Not so bad? What do you mean, not so bad? Our boat is at the bottom of the ocean, and we're stuck on this island, in the middle of nowhere, with no way to get home. I said I was sorry. At least you could forgive me. Well, it's just that we're... Well, can't you see we're... I just... I just... Can't. Oh. I said I was sorry. Well, that's just not good enough. Good night. Not good enough? Not good enough? He means... He means I'm not good enough. They all think I'm not good enough. I bet they'd be happier if I just left. So that's what I'll do. I'm just gonna... I'm gonna take my thing... and just go away. Yeah. I don't have anything. Well, I'll just go. Just with my hat. Goodbye, Bob. I hope you find a first mate that's good enough. I wonder where the skipper is. Who? Oh, you know, dear, the bright red round fellow. Oh, yes. Oh, where is he, anyway? I don't know. Uh, that's what I was wondering. Oh, has anyone seen Larry? Did you say something? Uh, no, it was that tree over there. Really? Well, what did it say? I believe it's looking for Larry. Uh, who's Larry? Oh, you remember? He's the chap who smashed the boat. Oh, and ruined our vacation. That's the one. Oh. Well, I hope that tree gets him. Serves him right. Here, here. Hello, people. Have you seen Larry? Oh, look, lovey, it's the skipper. Oh, I didn't know tomatoes grew on trees. Well, actually... Oh, never mind. Hmm. A skipper, what are you doing up there? I'm looking for Larry. When I woke up this morning, he was gone. I've got it. Got what? Our ticket out of here. We can build a giant catapult to fling us back home. Here, I'll demonstrate with his working model. You wind it up. Then someone sits here, say, Bob, for example. Now, just pull this cord and... Our house! Ow. Oh, dear. Look what you've done to our house. You bonked me on the head with a coconut. Wow. I did not mean to do that. I am so sorry. Can you ever forgive me? Well... I guess it was an accident, and you did say you were sorry, so I forgive you. Thanks. I'm really sorry about your house. I'd be glad to help you fix it if you want me to. Do you think you could forgive me? We know you didn't mean to do it, so, so we'll forgive you. Oh, thanks. Gee, it sure does feel good to be forgiven when you make mistakes. Yes, sir. Boy, if I said I was sorry for doing something wrong and, and really meant it, and people still wouldn't forgive me, I'd feel just terrible. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, Larry said he was sorry for smashing the boat. And that was just an accident, too. Just like when I hit you with that coconut, or when you fell through their roof. And we wouldn't forgive Larry at all. So that's why he went away. He must feel terrible. We've got to find him. Oh, come on, everybody. I, I think he's over here, maybe. Larry! Larry! Hey, little buddy! Larry! Larry!
anymore. So I'm just gonna leave. We do like you, laddie. Yes, and we forgive you for smashing the boat. You do? Well, we realize that everybody makes mistakes sometimes, and it was wrong for us not to forgive you when you said you were sorry. Yeah? Yeah. Can you forgive us for not forgiving you? Um, okay. I forgive you guys. Uh, phew. Oh, good. Hello? Did you say something? No, it was that tree again. I'm so happy to see you forgiving each other. It makes me want to sing. Do you mind? No! You know that in love we can forgive. It is the only way to live. Obey God and see that we can live in harmony. Since God has forgiven us, it's true. You forgive me, I'll forgive you. I'm gonna start to show forgiveness from my heart. Oh, oh Summer! Right, if only there was a way for us to get back home. Yeah. Well, at least we're all friends again. Hey, has anybody seen the professor? Nope. Voila! Do you like it? I made it entirely out of bamboo and coconuts. Pretty good, huh? Well, climb aboard. Hey, Bob? Yeah, Larry. Um, next summer, let's just sell lemonade, like everyone else. That sounds like a good idea. You know that in love we can forgive. Hey, man, it is the only way to live. Obey God and see that we can live in harmony. Since God has forgiven us, it's true. You forgive me, I'll forgive you. I'm gonna start to show forgiveness from my heart. So do your part and show forgiveness from your heart. Have you ever been bad? Do you remember when you broke your mom's favorite vase and then stapled it back together in hopes she wouldn't notice? That was bad. Do you remember when you put your pet snake in Aunt Millie's pajamas and she ran five miles without ever getting out of bed? That was bad, too. And do you remember when you stuck your sister's teddy bear in the food processor and told her it got chewed up by a giant bear-eating lizard? And she believed it? That was really bad. Well, the Bible calls the bad things we do sin. And when we sin, we need to be forgiven. That's right. So I know what you're thinking. Jeepers, I've been bad. How do I get forgiven? Am I right? Well, moms, dads, and kids of all ages have I got the thing for you. The new Ronco forgive a Yes, sir. The new Ronco forgive a slices, dices, and purees your sins away. It's as easy as this. Just dial up your sin here. Press this button and bingo! God forgives you of your sin. But wait, there's more. Order now and you'll also receive a set of Jinzu 2 steak knives, the strongest knives on earth. Just listen to this. Hi, I'm a miner from West Virginia. In the last three weeks, we dug two miles through solid granite, all with one Jinsu 2 steak knife, and it's still going strong. But that's right, you get the forgive a and the steak knives all for a low price of just $19.95. You've never seen a deal like this before, isn't that right? That's right. So don't delay, order today. Operators are standing by. Remember, you get the forgive a and the steak knives, all for just $19.95. Uh, mm -mm. Not now, kid. Can't you see I'm busy? But I know of lots of people who've been forgiven for bad things they've done. Oh, oh yeah? Well, they must have forgive a then, huh? No. Well, sure. You, you can't be forgiven without a forgive a Well, isn't that right? Stop yanking me up and down. I'm getting sick. The Bible says if we ask God to forgive us, then he will. You, you mean all you have to do is ask? Yep. You don't need a, a forgive a matic? No. Nope. Are you sure about this? I sure am. 
Well, did I mention they also make great Julian fries? Well, just drop a potato in here, a push the button, and, and presto, out come the best fries you've ever tasted. Oh, look, it's time to go. Oh, but wait, there's more. Well, just spread these seeds on here, and, and in a few weeks... Uh, voila! Cheer, forgive a <laughs> Isn't that cute? Say goodnight, Gracie. Good night, Gracie. driving around in their car, when suddenly, they hit a bump. We must uh, hit a bump! Hey! What'd you do that for? I didn't do it! You did, you big possum head! I did not, you taco salad rabbit nose! It did, too, casserole head pimento loaf, iguana boy! Ha! Now, Rose, apologize to your brother! Well, you know he just turned 18 years old. Yeah, so? So that would make him a casserole head pimento loaf iguana man. Ah, uh, yeah, sorry about that, Cabbage Nose Elvis puppy. Yeah, and don't you forget it. Pa, there's somebody over there. Eh? Oh, oh you're right. Uh. Well, what kind of fella do you suppose that is, Ma? Oh, let's see. Hmm. It's no gripe, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, yeah well, he's you know that. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, yeah. That's really well, yeah. Well, it must be some kind of a bean or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, what's that thing he's got on his head? Well, it's yellow. Um, cheese is yellow. Mm hmm. So that would make him a cheese-headed bean boy. Ooh. Uh, <clears throat> I'm not a bean. I'm an asparagus. What'd the bean boy say? He said he was an asparagus. Who's it? Huh? Asparagus. A plant of the liliaceous genus. From the Greek, asparagus. Ooh. Ooh. And this is not cheese on my head. It is a hat. A yellow hat. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that crazy hair! <laughs> it looks like peas. Hey, Bean Boy, you been growing peas to your noggin? No. Well, that's just terrible. Don't those grapes know it's not nice to make fun of people? Well, that's just it, Bob. They didn't know how bad it made Junior feel. Well, jeepers, Larry. What happened next? Luckily, Junior's dad heard him laughing and came outside to see what all the commotion was about. Hey, what's all the commotion out here? Ooh, grapes. They were calling me Bean Boy and telling me I had peas on my head. Is that true? Oh, no, no, no. We would not do such a thing as what you have said we would have done, except for maybe we did that, I guess, now that you... Oh, well, okay, we did that. Yep, that's what we did. So, Junior's dad explained to the grapes that when we make fun of people and call them names, it makes them feel very bad inside. 
He also told them that God wants us to be kind to everybody, and that when we act mean, it makes God feel sad too. Well, uh, gee, I, I guess we never really stopped to think about it. Well, well, it was making you feel, you know. Yeah, we was just having some fun. Didn't mean nothing by it. Yeah, sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. 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 Didn't mean it. We'll never be mean again. Okay, that's better. Now, Junior, is there anything you'd like to say to the grapes? Um, like what? Junior's dad explained to him that when someone says they're sorry for hurting you, and they really mean it, we need to forgive them. That way, we all feel better. Oh, I get it. Okay, I forgive you, grapes. <sighs> oh, that's great. All right. Now, doesn't everyone feel better? Oh, well, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. That's great. It's almost time for supper. Come on inside, Junior. Junior? His name is Junior? Oh, that's a funny name! Okay, this is the last straw. I thought you said you weren't going to tease anymore. Well, that's exactly what we said. And we grapes always try to keep our promises. Well, isn't that right? Sure. Oh, yeah. Thing. I guess that's yeah, right. That's right. right. Now, what do you kids have to say to Junior? Oh, oh sorry. Sorry. Really? Oh, mighty sorry. I apologize. Sure, I'm sorry. Sorry. Boy, I sure am glad they got that straightened out. Yep. The grapes were really sorry this time, so once again, Junior forgave them. What? <clears throat> I said, once again, Junior forgave them. Are you serious? Well, I think so. Bob, am I serious? Oh, oh yeah, Larry. Uh, yeah, you're, you're serious. Mm -hmm. You see? I'm supposed to forgive them again after what they just did to me? Well, uh, yeah. Sure, I forgave them for calling me Bean Boy and saying I had cheese on my head, but now they're making fun of my name and they've laughed when the hall almost bagged my face clean up and when the truck picked me up and threw me in the sand. And you're telling me I'm supposed to forgive them again? Um, well, are you guys really sorry? Oh, we're sorry and, and we'll, we'll never do, do it, it again. again. You see, Junior, when we do bad things, it hurts God's feelings, too. God wants us to tell him we're sorry. The Bible says when we tell God we're sorry, he will always forgive us. No matter what? No matter what. Wow! That's right. And because God always forgives us, we need to forgive others when they hurt our feelings, too. 